Greetings and salutations, my name is JW608, and today I am playing Star Maid, uh, dev build 0.200.124. The dev build releases are slowing down, I think that's a good thing. Oh, and I would like very much to turn that off. Let's apply it. There we go. I know some people might like it, and newbies would love it, but I'm not very fond of the, uh, not fun, that's a little harsh. Anyway, I'm not a great fan of the Guzma watches. Anyway, I have some news. Y'all remember Sam? Samantha, that is. My 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 AI? Well, she's back up and running. Say hello, Sam. Greetings and salutations. Oh, right. The computer she was on had some problems. So I've been remaking her from scratch. Anyway, so she'll stop by occasionally and all that good stuff. Anyway, let's see. For the actual, actual, uh, I guess, project for today, maybe even tomorrow, I was listening to, we were watching chat, and Linscap said that he was able to build a, a device, or a device, a ship, or retrofit a ship, to cross a galaxy, the, I don't know which galaxy, in about three minutes. And I thought to myself, wow, it's standard default and all that, so it isn't the large sectors I usually play with. But uh, three minutes, that is that is pretty quick. All the space. And about three minutes using the new, the new uh, power system and chambers and all that good stuff. So I wanted to see if I can do something similar. And I'd like a, a ship just to start out with. Uh, it's an IC. Huh, okay. Let's grab an, a cannon, this amp, ice amp, this amp, whatever this thing is. However you desire to pronounce it. And let's hop into it. And let's go to remove mode. Except let's, uh, power. This doesn't give me the old power stuff, alright. This is going to be harder to compare. Uh, pick with camera. There we go. And is there, yeah, there's stuff on that side, so let's throw up a symmetry plane and let's just get rid of all of these power blocks. The server's auto saving. I don't want help in tips. Is it build helpers? No. Oh, it's display right there. What do I remove? Is in, remove mode is in display. Alright, and that should have gotten rid of all the old power. It did. I don't think there are any capacitors in this particular vessel. Ah, uh, but for good measure, let's get rid of capacitors as well. Uh, no. There we go. Cap. Power capacitor. Clear. Oh. Move power capacitor. There we go. So just in case those are those are gone now. Alright, let's take it out of remove mode. And let's drop these brushes. And what did we determine I needed for thrust? Turning the thruster on requires 3400. And I'm getting that, I'm guessing, from the old power system. Because there's no new power. So let's throw on a new reactor just so I can break. There we go. Few more so I can break a little faster. Alright. Shields are down, that's fine. Let's build us a reactor. Alright, now we have two reactors, but we need to put them in a single group. And you've seen me do this before. You'll probably see me do this 10,000 times more. And I don't really know how big of a reactor we really need. 
Uh, let's see, what's our reactor now doing? Uh, consumption is 31, recharge is 500. Oh, it's not, no, it's not actually 500, it's 500 because I don't have any stabilization. Alright, can I still put stabilizers on this arm and be okay? Oh, I have symmetry mode on, I didn't want symmetry mode on. Usually I set it and forget it. So, we'll be pulling these out. Okay. Uh, optimal. Okay, the efficiency is 100 R. And it's, I basically need to fill up this arm because these are 1 to 1, minus 5. And the way they glow, it's good to see where the stabilizers are, but sometimes it makes it hard to place them because they, they don't look like they're supposed to be in the ship. Or they don't look like they're part of the ship like that. What's my stabilization? No, I'm at 1%. Very good. And I probably have a few extra. Alrighty. So let's actually run a line of power reactors. And that's going to require no more stabilization because that's already... Oh, oh, okay. I don't know that. I can look at one of these blocks and press R from here. Oh, that's good. All right. So what am I going to need? I know I'm going to need an FTL chamber. And actually, chamber sizes are 20. All right. And I learned something. That you have to branch the... Or you can't branch the conduits. Um... So this can be a chamber tree, and this one, but I can't take this main and make a chamber tree, then run this main line and make another chamber tree down the ways a little. It has to be a, an individual line from the reactor. All right. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That should be 20. And that's, that's touching. So this FTL, I can specify it. Uh, jump distance. Let's level up that jump distance. I still got 70 capacity. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's what 15. 1, 2, 3. Times 1, 2, 3. 3 times 3 is 9, times 2 is 18, I think that's right, and we want that there, make a second chamber, oh, it's 17, wow, 9, there we go, that should be 20, you know, one day I should learn how to count, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, alright, let's see, specify the jump chamber, Oh no, I don't want that to be a, like that. I actually want... So, I'm having a independent unit there. Alright. That's invalid. Why is that invalid? Oh, because it's not big enough anymore. Okay, so let's actually rip these apart. 20, alright. Snag that one and stick it there. Okay, we're getting there, we're getting there. And there, that should be a second chamber. It is. Now I know I have two FTL chambers. I want jump distance and I want jump Power? No, no. Revert. Jump charge time. Let's level these up as much as we can get them. Alright. 
I would also like a jump efficiency. Uh, under that block. The cold unforgiving darkness of space. Okay, I'm cool with that. Because I don't actually plan on using this ship. This is purely for testing. Two, three, four, five. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Four, six, that's 15, 18, 19, 20. I get R, get this chamber, and I would like power efficiency like that. So this is now just cram full of power and power efficiency. And let's plug that hole. And again, this is not something I plan on using, so I'm not being particularly pretty about it. I just kind of want it armored. There we go. Just in case I jump into a star or something. Or, I guess better yet, I jump into a... Uh, or better yet. Uh, further still, I jump into a um, pirate station. Okay, so I can't run one line and branch off, so if I want another chamber, which I don't know if I can actually have. Ooh, I have 20% capacity, I can do something. Can I fit another? Two, three, four, four. No, I can't fit another in here. Well, actually, if I rip some of this off. Ah! Yeah, I can. Watch me. I'll run a conduit, make sure it's not touching any other conduit. I'm going to run it this way. And is it logistics that's spy? No, it's not logistics. It's. It's, um. I want speed. Mobility. Logistics. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, I know I could have done this. It was a fun and actually using tools and working intelligently. What's this for? This going to be for top speed. Or acceleration or something. And I know this is ugly, and as I've stated before, I don't care. As long as it's armored. Alright. And let's assign that. Mobility changer spec chamber specify top speed. Let's. I can only get to top speed too. All right. Well, I have now maxed out this reactor. I've not done that before. This is my first time maxing out a reactor. So can I even move? Yeah, I can move. Huh. All right. Anyway. Uh, looks like. I want to rip out that Where's the camera. There we go. So I don't have that red line on there because well, again I don't really care that I can whether or not I I um have a pretty ship, I just wanna ship to test with. And we're gonna throw a couple shield rechargers there for good measure. Because that not full bar is bothering me. Anyway, I think we're going to call it a day here. I've been JW608. This has been Starmade. And I'll dig you cats later.